At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact Instead of Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel It is Wednesday, May 3rd May 3rd, 6.51 p.m. Hopefully you can hear me, it's a little bit windy. So I've had lots and lots of questions from many different people on my videos and my DMs about what I feed my horses. So I'm going to do a full thing for you today. Um, I don't know what this video will consist of because I feel like this won't take very long so you might have some other stuff to watch after this. But for right now, I'm gonna go show you what I feed my horses. The reason I'm doing this in the evening is one, because it's a Wednesday, so I have school this morning, so my parents fed the horses. Two, in the mornings they just get a scoop of grain, um, and then they go out in the pasture all day, whereas in the evening we give them all their supplements and stuff. Go in. As you can see, the barn is empty, the stalls are ready, we just have to put another bag in. So this is our feed board. If you want any of the names, this is the stuff. Um, but I, once again, I'm gonna walk you through it. The other thing I'm gonna go ahead and mention is this is the feed we are using as of right now. I'm gonna go ahead and collect three of my bowls. They are in the wash rack because we wash them every morning and we have a fourth bowl for obviously when Chino's here one day, but not using that. So I'm gonna take these over here don't mind my tripod, and we are gonna lay them out. So, to start off with basics, in here is where we keep our open feed bags. Obviously, we don't want rats and stuff getting in, so this is sealed. Um, this is the scoop we use. It's literally a basic scoop. So at night, I'm going to fill it up to that first line with grain. Okay. Okay all the grain, put this back in here, and shut it back up. Sorry guys, I'm trying to show you the best I can. The first supplement we're gonna put in is this Platinum Performance. I want to explain thoroughly before anyone comments. So these horses have been at a show barn for years and years. Um, obviously they were all show horses at some point and two of them have been competing and stuff up till recently. The only one who hasn't is Angelo. He's been retired for about two years now. So, with that being said, they have been on Platinum Performance for quite a while. It's just what my trainer gives them and stuff. So, yes, I know it's probably not necessary anymore that they have it now that they're retired. However, like everything, we want to wean them off of that. And we bought this thinking we had to have it, which we don't. Um, and so obviously we're going to use it up, but once again, won't do any harm. It's good for them, but that is why. Before anyone says you don't need that, they're retired. I know. We have this massive bucket though, and it actually smells really good, not going to lie. So we're just going to put one scoop of this in each of them. And then we'll put that back and close it up. Also, if you're wondering what this is, this is just cookies. So, not going in their feet. Okay, the next thing we have is this. Okay, so you've put this in your horse's food. Obviously, it doesn't harm them or anything like that. It's literal horse supplement food. But the whole thing is that I guess if flies like bite them and stuff, it basically makes it so that flies can't have like more flies if that makes sense so it's fly control through feed rather than having fly spray spraying out of the ceilings all the time which a lot of barns have obviously we put fly spray on the horses but we don't have like the actual spray that just goes off on a timer so we're gonna put this in their food and it's pretty heavy not gonna lie and also they get this at the show barn i'm at open this up it's like a really, really small little scoop, so. Okay. 
Okay. Done with that. Okay, the next thing they get is platinum hoof support. It's good for their hoofs, especially because we've retired them, we took off all their back shoes so that if they were like kicking each other and stuff, you know, going nuts in the pasture, it would not cause nearly as much damage if they had shoes on. But Nick and Angelo already in like the first three days ripped off one of their front shoes. So a farrier came and removed them. So now they don't have any shoes on, which obviously was really good. But because they're used to having shoes on, they're hoofs are quite soft and not very hard so this helps anyway my horses all get this anyway just good for their feet but these horses once again still need it because they are a little bit hampered <laughs> they're not used to this lifestyle and it's like a tiny tiny thing like that in each of them okay the last thing we put in is this stuff so only Nick and Patton get this because Patton has a thyroid issue and it makes him get really, really fat. And then Nick actually has Cushion's disease. I don't know if a lot of you know that, but um, he does. And so we have to give both of them this same stuff because otherwise they'll get overly fat. And obviously that's very dangerous. And it's just a tiny little scoop. So this is going to be Nick's. This will be Patton's. And then that's Angelo's with none in. Now we're gonna take them all over right here. And a lot of people have, you know, different preferences on this, but I noticed my horses struggle to eat it when it's completely dry, so I always wet it just a tiny bit. Filling up these. Shake. What are you showing me, Maya? Oh yeah, I've seen these before. We got a different type of shavings, guys, because these are, like, typical shavings that a lot of people use. They're a lot thicker. And then this is almost, like, sawdust. I have seen this before. I don't know whose barn it was at, though. So that stuff doesn't fall through the gap. Yeah, it But it the guy nice. who just came here, he said, I don't know why you're doing all that. You're just wasting stuff. Yeah. Okay. I always do Angelo's <laughs> first. I don't know. You You and Mom took those off. Yeah, I don't know. What do you want to do with them? These. Who's gonna come in first today? Okay. Yeah, don't all run at once. I know you're excited to see me. Look at what a beautiful day it is though, guys. It's like, I wanna say 70 degrees out, blue skies, nice wind. Beautiful day here. All right, let's see if we can get them to come up. Normally, guys, they come running, but apparently we're not that interesting anymore. I'm gonna put this down at the gate over here. I know. You can't go in, in. Charging. She's worried that he's going to lick her ball. It was like no one cared about us at all. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, yeah. we were everyone's favorite. Guys, I was just looking, we have like a million light switches down there. 
and I thought they were all there, but our wash light switch is right here, so I just tried every light switch about 20 million times. It was the wrong one. Okay, so they're all groomed and clean and put away. Now I'm gonna give them their dinner, which is why I made it earlier, because look, Pan's waiting. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna clean up the inside of the barn. Hiking, Pan's got water, he's still eating his food. This looks amazing, the aisle is clean. Let's see what Nick's doing. Still eating? Yep, oh hello. Jello. Plenty of water. Still eating. Angelo always does this every night. He draws out eating his grain. Like he'll eventually eat it, but he doesn't like eating it right away. So we leave them in there. Luckily we have those rubber bowls so like they can literally stand on them. It doesn't matter. Look how pretty it is outside though. I feel like today is the first day I kind of feel like summer. Not heat wise. I know it's like a lot of people say it's 65 out right now. I checked not 70. Um, and most people say, oh yeah, yeah, that's so warm. But for Atlanta, that's actually pretty cool. But I just mean like the vibes today. They feel like summer and a lovely clean barn. 
feels very nice. I'm sure you guys can tell. I'm very OCD about things being clean. Um, my dad's the same way. So this barn will probably always be very clean. Anyway, that is it for tonight. I will come back down later this evening before I go to bed to check them, obviously. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Also check out my merch store below. Um, I'm going to try on this weekend and next weekend. So if you're showing there and you see me, please come say hi. I love meeting you guys. And if you want to be in the vlog, you absolutely can. Um, sometimes I forget like when I'm speaking to you to be like, oh, do you want to be in the vlog? But if you want to, literally just tell me. I will try to remember to ask. But if you see me, please come say hi. And if you aren't going to try on, stay tuned for the show vlogs. I'm just showing Apple. So it'll be a little equitation two weekends. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you very soon. Bye. Okay, never mind. not the end of the vlog. My dad has to go pick up something tomorrow. It's like you put the manure in it and it spreads it. So we're in the back of our fields in our little gated, we'll call it toy area. Um, on the gator getting the trailer and we've got to drag the trailer all the way up to the front of the house and Maya obviously is being so Incredibly helpful so helpful when you Shake your head and growl in front of a moving vehicle, you know And my dad's back there. This is our little hay barn though guys, isn't it cute? We don't actually have hay in here right now, but this is our little thing. Our barn is up there. You can see it's all fenced in again. The gate girl, of course. Let's shut this. So bad. There's oh look that's so cute. It's in our little planters. We'll leave them be. Okay, now goodbye for real. Bye. Yeah. And two strong-minded individuals. What happen when y'all both reach the pinnacle? Things start to get physical. What make it worse?